Welcome to First Light. This is Matthew James. This is the Aramby Hills. I'm back. I've done my travels in Sydney. Um, I'm not going to be up in Sydney for a while now, so thanks to everyone who watched me on Psychic TV over the weekend. Um, catch me probably next time. It could be April or May. Um, certainly March is out of the way. I've got a few projects in March, so March is out of the way. But uh, yeah, thanks guys. So uh, yeah, here we are. It's barely light. Um, Matthew James is barely awake. His hair is an absolute blooming mess. It's quite sweaty today. Uh, quite um, clammy. Um, hasn't the weather been fantastic? I know this is officially, I believe, the last day of summer or is it the first day of um, autumn? I, I always get confused but I know we're right at the end of the cusp and I know as far as cusps go we're into the next numerological cycle as far as my soul numerology is concerned. So I'm personally now in the three vibration um, and three vibrations are always about um, lifestyle change the universe bringing on that particular change forcing your hand so to speak forcing to, you to go down a certain path the path that the universe wants you to go down not necessarily the path that you want to go down but the path that the universe wants you to go down. I'm playing a track, or I was playing a track, I just want to celebrate by Glenn Hughes, so I'll actually have that in the background uh, whilst I'm talking. And I've got quite a few projects uh, uh, in the pipeline, as I've been saying. Um, they will become apparent uh, this year. They are part of my, and I'm just sitting down, part of my um, own three vibration. Um, I'm just resting my poor weary legs. Um, I am a little bit achy and tired today. Um, and I am still recovering from the two late nights as well, so that's why I'm looking a little bit, hmm, yes. Anyway, back to the task at hand. This is uh, my daily vlog for um, for Monday, Monday whatever of, of, of February. Um, um, I'm gonna be in Canberra at Nichols, uh, the Tribe Hotel this weekend. Uh, for two days for the Saturday and the Sunday. Uh, I am doing one-to-one uh, -one readings if anyone is watching this who's interested in catching up with me. They are going to be mini readings, they're not going to be the full-on one-hour readings that I generally do at home. They're going to be the like, little sample 20 minute, 25 minute readings. But more interestingly, on the Saturday, this Saturday at two o'clock, um, I'm going to be on stage doing what I call shamanic mediumship, which is um, a little brand that I've been developing for a while. It's my own little fusion of um, the traditional medium, the traditional stand-up medium, the traditional uh, message giver, and my Celtic Nordic um, heritage, bringing out the, the shamanic side, the totem animal side, uh, my experiences of um, the other worlds um, and the Celtic, the Celtic underworld, my understanding of um, the L-O-R-E, the law, the Celtic law and the Nordic law, bringing in my numerology, my medical intuition, bringing in all those aspects and I will be talking about my personal experiences, um, a bit of philosophy as well as some stand-up mediumship so that's going to be the shamanic mediumship on the on the Saturday so just looking around it is getting a bit brighter there is a fantastic view over there as you can see that's what I'm actually looking at at this moment in time now forgive the gear I do look probably a little bit shoddy I mean that's me from a distance handheld camera um, have got the headphones in. Currently listening to a group called Royal Hunt, track called 1348. I just do like playing my music whilst I walk. So um, yeah, this is me trying to get um, into chill mode. So everybody, I will be doing another video on awakening, the awakening, the spiritual awakening. I believe it's part four. Now I'm gonna get more into the nitty gritty on uh, that aspect of things, going down the rabbit rock, rabbit warren so to speak i will explain a little bit more in that particular video so you guys you you have yourselves a really good day uh, you've been watching a rather sweaty tired bedraggled looking matthew james um, and i will catch you all again very soon bye for now okay everybody work your numerology out for this year so Add your birthday and your birth date up, your day and your month, and 2016, 
um, 2016 is a nine, add it all up and get the singular number that is in numerology. Like for example, I'm 10, 11, 2016, which makes me a three vibration, which is one plus one plus one plus nine, which is 2016 is your three, my three vibration. Last time I was in a three vibration was 2007. And I was on the eve of actually a big change, a big move, which is the move from New Zealand to Australia. So my numerology actually is in sync with the three vibration, which is the year of change. What I want you to do is whatever your numerology is this year, go back nine years. So work your number out this year, go back nine years for the, for the last time you're in that number and just see if there is anything similar with this year and nine years ago that's your little test for the day and um, please let me know about it put it on facebook for me put it underneath the video um, make some comments on youtube there's a comment so put it put some comments there facebook matthew james medium public figure page make some comments there i'm going to put it on twitter um, i'm going to put it on google plus i'm going to put it on all the social media that i can and i want to get you guys to comment on the numerology that you are this year, what's your number this year? And go back nine years to the last time you're in that number. And I'm looking, I want you to find the similarity between the two years. Is there a sequence? Is there a pattern? That's what I actually need to know from you guys for today's little um, homework. Thanks everyone.